My name is Quill Taylor, and I have taken it upon myself to record my findings pertaining to the life of a young boy named Anthony Todd. Watch your step. Hmm, the device should be on again. I don't hear or really feel anything in here. Which is a good sign. Erin said it'd take a few days to fix, although it's not nearly enough time. Anthony's birthday is closer than that. Representatives can't do their job well? Surprise, surprise. Either that, or we're missing something. Still, I, I think we should try to be discreet. You don't want to get into something with the townspeople. No, I don't think that's going to be a problem. It makes our job easier, just don't think about it too hard. What are you talking about? Well, all of the people who live in town are going to leave. Just so no one disrupts the process. He definitely didn't count on you being here. None of us did. Or Martin. I have half a mind to tell you both to leave. And the other half? To tell you to get Martin to leave. Ah. Well, as much as we would appreciate the help, he's not in a state to help now. It's honestly more dangerous at this point for him to be here than to be in the outside world with everyone else. But if we fail, he'll, he'll be gone without knowing he ever found him. If we fail, everyone will be gone, including you. And nothing is stopping you from returning to him if we succeed. Nothing's stopping... You all are stopping me. I'm most certainly not. Well, maybe not you, but I want... I told Liv... I told Liv we'd read something together. I like coming to the manor and seeing at least Anthony. I enjoy seeing you, but if you want me gone, well, fine then. But I enjoy talking to Charlie and Tim. There are people in this town I want to stay for. Of course I miss the city, but I don't miss the people I used to have. But, well, to be honest, I only really have much. It's possible that if we fix everything, well, who knows? I mean, you could always just stay here, or, or maybe the town will reintegrate with the rest of the world. We don't know that. But it's possible. It's also unlikely. Now can we please just focus on the task at hand? We can talk about what to do after we win, after we win. Now come along, we're nearly there. Start looking around, see if you can find anything that might get the clock tower back up and running, and break it. This looks important. Ow! Are you okay? I'm fine. Just keep looking. If you're getting hurt by this... It's just uncomfortable. Keep looking. Sorry. No, it was a good call. Hey, Abby. Hmm? I've been wanting to ask. Are you from Warborough? And why have you been wanting to ask that? It's just, you know, sound like everyone else here. I sound like you. Not exactly. I mean, that's not what I meant. No, I'm not. You're not. From Walgrove. I wasn't born here. Neither was I. Or as I under. We all moved here around the time Anthony was born. Well, I knew that you knew here. Where from? Oh, well, you've probably never heard of it. It's out of the way. Small town. What's it called? Seaside Drive. You're right. I've never heard of it. it sounds like a street. <laughs> it's a town, but it's basically just a street. At least, that's what we used to joke. What about you, Abby? Why all the questions suddenly? We're just looking around. I'm just trying to fill the time. And I realized I don't know a lot about you. There's no reason to. Keep looking. I want to be thorough. I'm from the Kens. I was telling Liv last time we were here. But there's a clock tower like this near where I used to live. I always wanted to visit New Kensington. It's supposed to be really big. <laughs> it is. I'm busy. I'm not sure if I'd like it. But, you know, it'd be nice to see something different. We'll take a trip if we can. Sounds good. I'll drag Abby and Ez along, if Ez even wants to go. Oh, so I don't get a choice. Haha, <laughs> nope. Ow! You did that on purpose. Of course. I'm doing what you two are supposed to be doing. Don't bother. That was the last thing. It's a little beyond repair now. That easy. It was already broken. Still. Hey, let's not look a gift horse in the mouth, alright? Where to now, Abby? Tim's. I'm picking something up. Plus, maybe he or Charlie has seen anything around. I don't know. Tim and Charlie helped me get into the London Mill in the first place. They have to know something weird is going on now. Maybe they'll have seen something since then. Or maybe they've changed since then. Either way, we'll head over, see what we can get. Look. 
What about the park? We haven't checked there yet. I don't have many other ideas. I know there's at least one more, but I can't remember where. Maybe Ez knows. No. Absolutely not. I think we're getting through to him. I really do. He's changing, and I, I think... I think he's starting to see our side. We just need to give him a chance to really help. Not asking is either. He's not on our side. That's the end of it. Liv might have known where to find him. She's doing research. Before. Don't go down that path. We've got a job to do. We can't spend time wishing we had something that we don't. Guys, please. Thinking about this isn't accomplishing anything. Let's just focus on what we need to do. Hey there! Hello, Tim. Ah, the lady of the hour. <laughs> Hold on, I'll go grab your swords. Wait, really? I figured we might as well. At least two of us know how to use them, and I've no idea how to use any other weapon. Well, I haven't used a real sword in a while. We used to spar plenty. I try not to think about how old you two actually are. Here you go. I haven't made anything like this in a long time, but it was so fun to get back into it. It's a good distraction. <clears throat> Anyways, I hope you can get some good use out of them. Thank you so much, Tim. Why don't you keep the change? Well, I sure won't say no. Are you all going to a costume party or something like that? Something like that. Well, have fun! And let me know how they hold up. Who knows? I might start selling them. That would be really cool. Well, thank you again. Now we'd best be going. Oh, hello everyone. Seems we've got a crowd today. Hello, Charlie. Oh, Quill, I haven't gotten to tell you, but whatever you did at the library, that was very cool. I'm sorry that... Uh... Well, we're going to miss our resident librarian. I hope your friend is okay. He will be. Thank you. Of course. Manor? Manor. Quill, are you- Fine. Let's go. It's this really big statue. Taller than his lander. And it's right here. I found it all by myself while I was exploring the maze. I told Nanny about it, but I think she's busy. I think Quill would like to see it though. They like this kind of stuff. Nottington didn't like it. I told him not to bark at it, but he didn't listen to me. Oh, you did that to train him better. I can't believe him inviting representatives over. You can't? I can. Don't be smart. Come on, we'll go around the back and check on Martin. Yes, sir, can I get some assistance? Sure. Oh. Okay, just a tad higher. You're strong. Uh, you'd be surprised how often I've had to lift her up. Anthony often liked to play in the rafters. Yes, sir. Well? He's not there. Not because there? Where is he? I don't know. I, I don't know. We need a plan. Well, I can't very well go in there with a the sword. I can. I'd advise against that. I have to find Martin. You won't be able to. If the representatives have gotten to him, he's already with Eris. Then I'll go to Eris. <laughs> Good luck with that. Besides, he'll be here soon. It's nearly time. If we take care of the representatives now, we won't have to deal with them and Eris at the same time. I know, just let me think. I'm going now. Wait! Quill! I'm tired of waiting! Lower your voice! And you can't do anything to stop me. Quill, you don't know what that does. Only because you didn't tell me. We still don't know exactly what it does, let alone what it'll do to you. I don't care. I'm doing this now. The Domestic Life of Anthony Todd is a podcast by J.R. Steele and licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License. The writing, theme music, and sound editing were done by J.R. Steele and the script was edited by River Topler. Follow The Domestic Life of Anthony Todd on Twitter at Domestic Life Pod and find The Domestic Life on Instagram at Domestic Life Podcast. Visit the website, penofsteel.wixsite.com forward slash domestic life to listen, view transcripts, and meet our cast, or join our Discord using the link in the description. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>